Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I am your gardener friend Ruchi, and today we are going to plant uh, our pineapple lily bulb. So, if you have seen my previous video, um, we had a pineapple lily growing in the uh, ground, and as winters were approaching, uh, you know, the, all the foliage had died down. So, I dug it up and saved it. Uh, dried it up and saved it uh, in a cool place but now it is springtime so I'm going to plant it again so I have uh, here uh, a planter which has a lot of compost and uh, uh, perlite and cocoa peat so I'm just going to dig it up a little bit and just put it in here I'm going to actually uh, keep the neck of um, the bulb up there and uh, I mean it likes full sun so I'm just going to water it and then leave it out uh, in the sun and uh, soon we should have some foliage growing in it So this is a temperate uh, climate um, plant uh, and it gets its name because you know it, the flowers that grow from it you know that stem uh, uh, shoot comes out and it has these flowers coming on the side where it just looks like a little pineapple on the top there is a little green foliage it looks like pineapple uh, and it has a very nice fragrance uh, too. So I'm just going to leave it out and as it uh, develops foliage, I'll keep you posted on this. So it's been about six to eight weeks that we planted these uh, pineapple lily bulbs. Actually, there was only one bulb. And now uh, it has been outside uh, and uh, it has been getting a lot of indirect sunlight and i see that uh, it has a small sprout by the way if uh, the ground doesn't freeze where you live then you can leave the bulbs uh, in the ground uh, in the winters so our pineapple lily has grown pretty nicely it's about four inches tall now and looks pretty healthy it requires quite a bit of sun but uh, if uh, the sun is very harsh where you live you want to put it in partial shade if you want to grow it inside you should put it in a room where it gets a lot of south uh, sun so that you know uh, it thrives there and now this plant is about four months old from the time we had planted the bulb in this planter in winters if you have left it in the ground you don't need to water it uh, but uh, once it starts to develop leaves then you should uh, make sure that the soil is always moist you know don't let it dry too much and this is why it is called pineapple lily while it is still uh, you know the flower shoot is very small it looks almost like a pineapple the blooming period is uh, generally in summers you know spring and summers i mean late spring and summers sometimes uh, you know you may not get any flowers uh, in your plant so that means that uh, in the last season uh, the bulb did not get uh, enough nutrition uh, to store in the bulb so you know that's why you shouldn't chop off the leaves uh, early you should only remove the leaves after they have died down so that uh, they keep on generating energy and which gets stored in the bulb so that it can bloom nicely in the next season the best way to propagate these is uh, by dividing the bulbs if it develops multiple bulbs uh, like when last time i dug it up there was only one bulb so 
that's what I planted. Uh, let's see if it will develop multiple bulbs this time. So, you know, even when the blooms are over, you shouldn't cut the foliage and you shouldn't dig it up. You should let it be in the ground or wherever it was uh, so that it stores more energy in the bulb for the next season. And uh, maybe it will also develop multiple bulbs at that time. So in four and a half months from bulb to this flower, fantastic. So basically in springtime, fertilize your bulb and uh, start taking care of it, start watering it. And once it starts to grow leaves, make sure it is always moist and give it a lot of sun and then just watch it grow it will grow like a pineapple and then in this beautiful flower stem that you can enjoy uh, you know anytime so i hope this video was inspirational to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye